Hello everybody, this is Phil Johnson and today I'm going to be uh, teaching you how to screen record using Active Inspire. One of the first things that you're going to have to do is open up Active Inspire, which is pretty easy to do. You just click on the icon and once you are inside, it's relatively easy enough to actually get there. All you have to do is click on Tools, which is going to be right up here in the top menu bar. You scroll all the way down to the bottom and there's more tools. They hide some out here in this secondary panel. One of these options, the third one down, is a screen recorder. Um, that's right there. And there's a little arrow next to it because you can actually record your screen in two different ways. You can record the whole full screen or you can just record part of the full screen. Now if you were recording the full screen you would get all your uh, windows and your tabs and uh, the taskbar at the bottom so it would literally be like the person is sitting at your computer watching what you're doing. The area screen recorder, which is the bottom one, um, actually you can select a part of your screen that you want to record so you can cut out a lot of the stuff. Now in order to make this video I actually had to take some screenshots beforehand and I am recording myself annotating these screenshots. So once you click on the full screen one it's just going to pop up the little recording box. But if you click on the area, uh, the screen area recording one, uh, you're going to have to choose which part of the screen you want to do. So this gray uh, fog comes over the screen and you're going to have to select the area here. So you just drag, you click your mouse and you drag uh, a lighter box over the area. Um, so this could be as big as you want or as small as you want. You can move it in, you can move it out, resize it, kind of whatever fits your needs. And once you do that, you're going to click Start Recording. Now the little box up here is going to pop up at first. And so you can move that around if uh, you don't want it in your shot. But once you hit the red button, which is the record button, uh, this box is going to pop up because you have to save your file somewhere beforehand. So all you have to do is make sure you name it, something that you can remember, and put it in a place where you can find it again. And then you just hit save. Now the tricky thing and the thing you have to keep in mind is that once you hit save, it starts recording automatically. Um, so you either hit save while you're up at the Promethean board or you hit save and you, you run up there and you start recording whatever you need to. Now you could edit all of this video afterwards, uh, which is what I'm going to do, uh, which would eliminate uh, the time beforehand if you don't get recording right away. So anyway, that's how you screen record using Active Inspire. It's pretty easy and it's really nice for making uh, lessons if you're going to be gone or even lessons to put out on the internet. Uh, if you want your kids to be able to see that stuff while they're at home. So I hope you learned something. Um, thanks for watching.